Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So uh, today I'm going to tell you some interesting uh, information. So it's not just about the interesting one. It's about like kind of some people have a wrong and different mindset on understanding how to start learning a programming language. Okay, so after I'm telling this, don't feel this video is going to be completely boring. But this is an interesting thing. You must have to watch this video completely. So recently what happened, I just made a video, okay, I have another channel where I have uploaded a video stating that how to start learning programming language. And in that video, I made a statement that if you want to learn Python, just learn Python. If you want to learn Java, just learn Java. It's not like you have to first complete C, C++ and then jump into this programming language. So I just uploaded this video. And I could see some comments, especially from freshers and college students, right? They said, no, you are wrong. C, C++ is always the basic before we jump into any programming language. And out of which one guy contacted me through my Instagram message and he started debating with me. I was like literally responding him for almost 10 to 20 minutes, but still he is not getting satisfied with the statement, whatever I'm saying. So he just had a fixed mindset. No, no, no. Any language you learn, even you learn HTML, you have to learn C, C++ first. So that the thing which made me do make this video. Not only that, I've seen the scenario in many places. Okay, so I was just doing my workout in the gym. So there was a fresher and he has a doubt of choosing a programming language and he's just approaching to one of his friend and his friend is actually an auditor. I don't know why he asked this question to that guy. So this fresher is asking to this friend, like which programming language I have to pick and that auditor's friend is responding him. I don't know what is the current trend of any language, but Please do learn C, C++ before you start this. I was just hearing this. I am I, I got upset actually. Right. So this kind of uh, question, especially when it comes to the C, C++, I hear this kind of an analogy from so many of them. That is really wrong. So in 2013, I, my passed out year is 2013. So during my final year, I had this thought. Okay, literally, to be frank, I had this thought, but it's been almost 10 years now, right? Gen X, Gen Y is gone, Millennial is gone now, even Gen Zs are having this particular mindset, not all Gen Zs I'm saying, okay, so few Gen Zs still have the mindset of, okay, we have to learn for C++ and then we have to jump into Python, Java, or even HTML, right, so I'll tell you when to use, when to choose C++ and when not to choose it, first thing, if you want to learn C, C++, learn it, or if you want to jump into any of the uh, job which that's required the C, C++, then go ahead, right? Only these two points, that's it. Or you are very good in C, C++. I love the language, do it. So these are all the three things I can say. You can get into C, C++. When not to go, right? So, okay. I want to learn Python or Java. So in that case, don't go for C, C++ first, okay? So just take a language which is in demand, Python. Just go with Python, Java, Java, Scala, then Scala. So those languages has their own basics first. Python has its own basic. Java has its own basic. Scala has its own basic. Even HTML SQL has their own basic. It's not like you have to complete C, C++ and then jump into all of those, right? And who tells this actually? Who tells this statement? C, C++ is important before getting into this. I'll tell you who will tell this. Especially most of the professors, lecturers used to say this. And second, some of these students used to say this who is doing their college. But once you just check with a candidate or a person who works in an IIT for at least three years, just go and ask her or ask her. They will not say this. They will not recommend it this way. They will say, no, even we thought that way. But now, just you want to learn some language, do it. Now imagine, I know Tamil. So Tamil is my mother tongue. Just imagine that is my mother tongue. Tamil is my mother tongue. And I used to learn German. Now I'm just asking to my friend, I want to start learning German and my friend tells me that you first learn English and then learn Chinese and then go for learning German. I was like, what is the relevant of this? Right, even you got the question, right? When someone tells you, you get frustrated, you get angry, right? The same way when someone says, do C, C++ before jump into Python or before jump into Java or even some people would say it. Learn C++ before getting into the HTML, CSS also people will say, I guess. Right. So guys, it's very important to understand this point. So don't waste your time on just learning that C, C++ just to learn Python and Java. Right. So that is the main agenda that I wanted to make this video. 
right so if you go for a job which has a jd has a python requirement and that interviewer will never ask you the question in c c++ and they compose python they want to do that even in your work culture you got a python project and they want to ask you to develop this first in c c++ and then go to python they want to say even the c c++ cannot be merged right one is procedural language and one is object oriented right and they don't have even have functional programming also right in that case before starting c c++ then you have to start assembly programming zero sum ones binary language that's a base actually right microcontroller right so to start with python and java you have to start with c c++ means then learn binary language also that is base of c c++ so that is the agent of this video so thanks for watching if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel the instagram id is the data thanks for watching